In the related development, the Nigeria Labour Congress (NLC) and the Trade Union Congress (TUC) in River State have suspended their planned protest over the continued police blockade at the local government area secretariat. Now, this decision came after reports that some individuals planned to incite violence under the guise of being Labour Union members. At the joint press briefing in Port Harcourt today, NLC Chairman Alex. Agwanwo urged the police to apprehend anyone who protests in the union's name on Monday. He advised Nigerian Union of local government employees, Nalgay members, who had initially proposed a protest, to wait for further directives from the labor centers. Now, the NLC chairman and his TUC counterpart, Ike Chuku Onyefuru, also dismissed accusations from former local government chairmen that state labor leaders are partisan. Organized labor is non-partisan, we are political to the extent that our fundamental human right is not violated by any politician or anybody. In this instance, our ask is that the Inspector General of Police should demobilize his men and open up the locked local government offices to enable our workers who work in the various local governments to go to work because we see the action that police has taken as violation of our fundamental human rights, where our members are no more allowed. Important affiliate unions were advised, especially the Nigerian of local government employees login, is hereby directed to remain on standby until further notice for likely lawful industrial action by the organized level. We call on the Nigerian police to be vigilant, to arrest and prosecute any miscreants found to be breaching the unfettered peace of River State. We support the ongoing joint strikes of His Excellency, Sassoon Fubaji's RS, to promote a peaceful and prosperous uh, River State. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.